Hi, this is Nile from My Pink Doodle, and today I will show you how you can receive these cute little journaling cards or journaling spots from a paper pad. So it happened um, that I had, if I can find it, so stay tuned for a moment. Ah, okay, found it. It happened that I had a paper pad which was uh, 12 by 12 inches, so very, very big, and it had all these cute little cards. For example, this says, I am awesome, ooh la la. Here are some cats. Um, I want to use it in another project. Here are some hands. I don't know if you can see it. Some hands with some little hearts. They are holding some hearts. And so on. This says love, love, love. And uh, go on. Thank you so, 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 so much. Wow. And so on. Here's a little plant or a little flower. We are forever, you and me. So they are really, really plain. And they are all white on the back and I had the whole 12 by 12 sheet and I cut off these little things there were a few others I want to show you um, but I will do other things with these in another video so these are um, plain there's a tiny little bit of interest on them here and there a little bit of pattern a little bit of sparkling over here hopefully you can see it so but these um, which are plain on the back too. These I will use in another project in the next video. But for today's video, I want to show you how you can receive or achieve these cute little decorated uh, things, these cute little decorated um, journaling spots or journaling cards out of these really plain journaling cards. So stay tuned for the video. I will speed some pro uh, some of the process up for you, but I will kind of talk you through the video. So for the sake of this video, I will try to recreate some of the things just so that you can see it better and I don't have to overthink every little step to say so. I have really many of these examples. For example, these love, love, love with the hearts on the hearts are put on um, in this 3D shape. Um, here we have, I don't know which direction, I think this direction, these little roses and this uh, cute little um, piece of lace to cover up the image because I did not like the, I did not like the quote which, which was on here, same for here, and so on and so on. But mostly I kept the original quote like here, um, you rock. Okay, but let's dive right into. So, okay, before we will decorate, these pieces we want to back them with something for example here use some here I use some tea dyed paper in this case I will use this blue paper which is already dyed but I bought it I did not dye it by myself I do sometimes but in this case I just want to use a paper I bought so um, of course it would be easier to um, have your 12 by 12 paper sheet and just glue some paper on the back um, but I cut out these little shapes and then I thought about what to do with them. So I will just sort them to the right direction, but it doesn't matter anyway. I will just glue them onto this backing so that I get rid of this white backing. I will speed this process up for you. Oh, and one thing, you can just glue on in the middle and leave the, um, leave the sides uh, without glue because we will sew around, but um, I did it on these cards, but some of these cards, I think you can see it. Um, so this backing paper is peeling off a bit. I don't care about, I don't mind um, having this peeled off because it's just a white backing. It's not um, not a backing I don't like, it's just white, it's okay. But um, for this video, I wanted to do it a different way. So I will just cover the whole back with a usual uh, glue stick. This is a print glue stick you can use every glue stick you have at hand and you trust but it does not have to be too good because um, we will sew around anyway so I will speed the rest of this process up as I said before
So these are all the, all the cards I have left. The next step will be cutting them out individually. As you can see here, I left a tiny little bit of space over here and here because they, I don't have the um, really same size because of my cutting, but it doesn't matter. Um, I will just cut them out. I will freeze this process up for you and then I will be right back. And of course I keep this off cut for other projects because it's a really, really pretty paper. Okay, all of our cards have this blue backing right now and they are cut out. So the next step, the next thing I want to do, just to, just showing you a few examples. So maybe, okay, let's see. Okay, I have enough examples in place, I think, by now. So the next thing I want to do is um, around the edges. Uh, it happens that I have this We Are Memory Keepers and Unpaid Advertising. Um, a corner rounder punch thing which uh, can round in three dimensions four seven and ten millimeter so i will use all three of them to round the edges and i will speed this process again up for you Okay, all edges are rounded in 4, 7 and 10 millimeters, just to give you a bit of um, extra something. So, the, <clears throat> sorry, the next step will be, uh, so let's see, mm, I just thought, okay, yes, the next step I did was uh, sewing all around the edges. I did a few different things. I used this very light green thread, so I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but you can see it very well on the cards. So I used a regular straight stitch. Um, sometimes I um, sewed right around, right uh, in a straight, right to the rounded edge, and then I began anew, or I um, moved the card while stitch stitching, stitching and so on and so on. Here I used a kind of uh, another stitch, so one of this, um, how do you call it, decorative stitches, something like this, another straight stitch. Here I used some zigzag stitch right to the edge, so I did different things. Here's a bit straight left, just cut it off. Here I tried to uh, sew around the edges in this rounded shape and so on and, and so on and so on. So I think I like, usually I like the zigzag stitch the most, but for this project, because these are very tiny little cards, I think I like the straight, straight stitch the most. And this one where I just sewed right to the edge, turned around the card and sewed around, not trying to um, go with the rounded edges. So. I will do this by now because I have this very light green thread in my machine already. I will use this again and then I will be right back. The stitching part is finished. On these two I um, moved this little card while stitching, while stitching so these are a bit uh, not in the a straight shape but all the others I just sort a straight line and right to the edge and then um, turned it over. It is a bit easier when your edges are very tiny like this. When you have a bigger edge like this, um, you cannot stitch to the edge because of this rounded shape. This is just something you have to keep in mind. On the back they look like this, all blue in this case and which is with this stitching. This gives you a bit of journaling space. So now for the decorating part. First of all, I want to ink the edges. I will show you a few examples just over here, just so that you are able to see a few things. Okay, I think this will be enough. Um, okay, I have some uh, green, pink, brown and blue um, inks, but the green is not showing up so well, so I will just use my pink, blue and brown and I will speed the inking, up, the inking process up for you again.
Okay, we ink up all the edges just in some uh, variety of colors. I did not look after anything. I just went with the flow. So I already know I want to cover up this happy birthday thing because I like it, but I already have one and I'm not such a big fan of um, this happy birthday theme because I don't know for what to use it for. And I just um, realized I forgot a step. Ooh, ooh. Okay, but it doesn't matter. So let's pretend you have your paper and laid down all your little pieces and glued them on and then they are all in, um, they cannot move anywhere. And then, maybe you can see it on some of these cards, I used some stamps and just randomly stamped onto here and there just to give it a bit more interest because this is really too plain for me. So I don't um, have, I already cut them out and so on, but it doesn't matter. We will just do this step by now. I just think I will put something under just to protect my, um, my desk, not my desk, my cutting mat. Okay, I think I will start with this. This is my favorite stamp and I will use, use, I will use some black ink. Mm, let's see, where's my black ink pad? Okay, here it is. And then I just random, randomly put on this um, stamp. Oh, this looks really good. I don't press too hard because I don't want to cover up all the images. This ooh la la needs something more. Okay, that's it. Don't look great by now, but it will later. Okay, this went wrong. So it's always good to have some of these baby whites um, in reach. Okay, nothing happened. Try again. I like this stamp really, really much. I use it very, very often because it's like, um, like a, well, yeah, like a stamp. So like when you write letters. Uh, okay, did we lose some of these? Yes, we did. <laughs> so I just put it on randomly here and there. Just. Don't overthinking it too much. If you cover up too much of your writing or your a quote and you want um, wanted it to have uh, with, wanted it to be visible, then you have to overthink it. But for me, it doesn't matter. If you cannot read this, you are my best friend thing. I will just cover it up later. So just putting it randomly onto here and there. Maybe something here, something in the middle. Okay, I don't like this very much, but doesn't matter. One here, one here, one right onto here and on this edge. Okay, I think this looks good. And then I have this tiny little stamp and I will just put it on here and there to give me a little bit of extra something. Oops. Maybe on the edge. To have two in one go, letting them overlap, something like this. It really, really doesn't matter. You just go on, go on, go on and go on as you wish. Okay, I think this is okay. Getting rid of my uh, ink pad and my stamp and then I will be right back. Okay, so now let's see what we got so far. I think they look really cool just the way they are. What was this? Oh, okay. This was this were the hands with these little hearts. You cannot see them very good because of the stamps, but they are really lovely anyway. So maybe adjust the light a bit. Okay, I think the light is good. Okay, now the next step will be um, decorating a bit more, if you wish. So as I showed you here, you can use little offcuts of, um, not snippets, but fabrics. You can use buttons, you can use little offcuts of um, scrapbooking paper, lace. You can use these cutouts. For these I use this heart shape and I have a butter shape uh, punching tool. 
and I put these on onto some foam. Uh, what else do we have? We this is some. Let me show you. If I can find it. These are only tiny little scraps. I have a really long roll out of this fabric uh, ruffles things. So these are just some leftovers, some laces, and so on. What else? This is what's. Um, I have some all over here. These are some die cuts. Okay, I think we will decorate a few together, but not all of them, because you see the examples. I will just show you a few little things you can do. Oh, I love this really much. Happy birthday in this says, don't count the days, make the days count. And it stands out because of this uh, foam thing. I really, really like this one. Okay, let's see. We will do a few together and then we will be ready. So let's see, I really love this love, 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 and you can already almost read it. So I will put on only a little tiny thing, maybe on this side, maybe a bit of this orange lace. And yes, I think orange and um, pink goes very well together. So for me. <laughs> You just decide if you want a focal point or something like this. These cards are really small, so you don't have so much space to decorate them. But it's cool because you only put down a few things, maybe one or two things, and you are already ready. With bigger cards, you maybe want to put on more things. Okay, I think this looks fine. So let's just put it to side. Um, I am awesome. Yes, and you can read it. It's okay. Let's see. Oops. Where's my lace? Here's my lace. I think maybe a tiny little bit of lace would look good on this one. Maybe a tiny little thing over here, or is it too much? Maybe a little button. Okay, this is really big button. Maybe a tiny button. No. Mm. Mm. No, I think I will leave this as it is. So you are my best friend. Um, <clears throat> You cannot read it really good, so I will cover this up using uh, some of my die cuts. So let's find a smaller one because I have really big ones like this, but really small ones as well. I just have to find them. Oh, for example, this butterfly, I love it so much. Let's see, it does not cover up, up everything, so I will use a bit of book page. I will be able to find them. Okay, found some. Mm, maybe I want something little over here, maybe a little button. I know button adds a lot of bulk, but I don't care. I love my journal cards to be a bit bulky, maybe a bit off center. Yes, I like this. You just try out what you like best. Okay, I call this finished. So let's see what else do we have. Um, ooh la la, it's very cool. I really like this. I don't want to cover this writing up. Let's see. Okay, I have three minutes more to film, then I have to clean my phone. Um, maybe something like this. Maybe overlapping, something like this. Yes, really like this. Okay, just get rid of the edge here. The only purpose of this is looking good. <laughs> So I think I will use a bit of glue. You can staple it on as well, but then I, for myself, have to get rid of the staples. So I will cover up uh, staples because I don't like the look of staples. 
but of course um, you can do this as well. Just put this on and leave it there for a couple of minutes. Um, and of course, it minimates your writing space over here, but maybe you want only put on a date and a, a thing, you, a good um, thing that happened to you or a good thought. Maybe you got a compliment or something like this. So this is the purpose of tiny jottle cuts for me. So now I have to clean my phone because um, it's filled up. And then I will decorate a few more cards together with you because I want to show you some things more. Let's see. Um, I think I want to show you one more thing. So these are the same cards as you can see, but they look really, really different. And I think I will show you what I did here. So this was a fuzzy cut I just let overlap. It was a stamp. And then this foam thing I want to show you. So I will be right back for you in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Cleaned up my phone. And I wanted to show you how I did this. So let's see. I already pulled, uh, pulled out a bit of foam. This was a, or a, an A4 sheet of foam. And I just need a tiny little bit, just like so. Then I need some, <laughs> let's see, I want to put on a heart again, I think. Maybe using this kind of scrapbooking paper. This looks cool too, but I want to use this side. It up the edges a bit. Just to make it stand out more. And to give it a nice finish. So now let's see where we want to put this. Hmm. Don't think I want to do something to this ooh -la -la thing. thing. I think I like this card. Go on, go on, go on. I think I will leave this um, as it is too. Maybe on this wow. No, it does not stand out enough. Mm -hmm. We are forever. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter. I just search for a piece where I want to put it. I think I will put it on this wow a bit on of the bit onto the edge. Hmm. Okay, now I want to use this side and I want to ink it up in blue just because it stands out more. And I don't have a card where this pink goes well with, so I just will use the other side, the scrapbooking paper. You can use book pages as well or any other paper you like. So I think I like it here because you have this wow in the middle and you have some kinds like fo focal points or something going on here and here because of the stamps. So I want it to be a bit balanced to say so. So I think this is a bit too wide. I really need only this tiny little thing, not more. So this is cool to use up your foam scraps if you work with foam. Of course there is a self-adhesive foam, foam on the market as well. I don't have it so I just use my Fabrifix glue. I put it onto the edge onto here. Put a bit of glue on my punched out heart. Okay, that's it. Oops. Then I put the heart down onto here, right onto the foam. And now it stands out. Let's see if I can show you a bit better. Now see, now you have this 3D effect. And I really, really love it. Of course, this can get stuck when you put it into a journal. You have to uh, 
have we have to keep this in mind but i don't care i like it anyway so i will um, decorate the other cards the leftover cards out of uh, camera because you already saw what you can do with it um but i wanted to show you something more so stay tuned let's see just a moment just a little sneak peek for the next video. Um, it happened that I cut out some of these cards, not individually, but two together, and then I folded them in the middle. So when they only had these patterns or, or some kind, like this flower, this is um, a directional card, but that is the right way, this way, or something like this, love yourself, and the back is only these flowers, because I want to create hidden paper clips like these ones. But I will show you in the next video. I will just show you how to use them. So let's pretend you have your piece of paper. This is the back. You already saw. This is this heart. Oh, this has to dry for a little while. So put this aside. So now you use your hidden paper clip. Let's pretend this is a page in your journal. And then you just open it up like this and put it onto your page. And this stays really well on your page. And I will show you how to create these hidden, these hidden paper clip things out of these double cards in the next video. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope this video gave you a lot of inspiration. And I have many more junk journal and crafting videos and some bullet journal videos on my channel. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. As I said before, stay tuned for the next video. And bye. Have a good day.